Today we are going to talk about nine specific financial goals you want to achieve before you hit 40. With an average life expectancy of around 80, reaching 40 marks the halfway point for many of us. So how we manage our finances up to that point will have a ripple effect on the second half of our lives. If you are ready to understand what financial goals will set you up for the rest of your life, let's get started. But first, if you are new to the channel, in this channel, I discuss personal finance and investing. If these topics sound like something you would like to learn more about, I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing and also hitting that like button. The first financial goal you want to reach before the age of 40 is defining your ideal financial lifestyle. We spend much of our 20s and 30s trying out new things, making a lot of mistakes, and hopefully learning from them. But as we get closer to the age of 40, we want to start clearly identifying what is most important to us and how those priorities define our ideal lifestyle. You might have thought cars were very important to you because you were that kid who loved reading car magazines growing up. But after a decade of spending thousands of dollars on new cars, you now realize that they did not bring you as much joy as you had hoped. Instead, you have found that having a nice backyard is more important to you because you have learned that you love hosting get-togethers with your family and friends. In that case, you have defined what brings you joy and can prioritize spending on a nice backyard instead of new cars. When we have our ideal financial lifestyle defined, it makes purchasing or investing decisions easier. We know what brings us the most joy and we can prioritize our spending to maximize that while cutting back ruthlessly on things that do not bring us as much joy. If you do not know what your ideal financial lifestyle is, start by writing down what your ideal day would look like. How are you spending your day? Is it going out to a fancy restaurant with your significant other? Or is it just spending relaxing time at home with your family? When you have your ideal day written down, you can objectively start to identify how you can prioritize your finances to achieve that. The second financial goal before 40 is more specific, have zero dollars in debt except for the mortgage. The 40s are a time period when many responsibilities converge. For many of us, it is the age when we take on more responsibilities at work, managing departments and divisions. You have decades of work experience under your belt, which means more people are now coming to you for your expertise. Additionally, your family is likely growing with some of your older kids getting ready for college and your younger kids becoming more involved in extracurricular activities. Furthermore, your parents are now getting older and may require more assistance from you, both physically and financially. If you still have debt when you are in your 40s, it can add a layer of stress on top of all these responsibilities that I just mentioned. Debt is an interesting concept. It is touted by some as a way to achieve the American dream, while others say it's the devil and should be avoided at all costs. My personal perception is this. Debt should be treated like that neighbor you respectfully tolerate when you see them in the morning, but someone you should never invite into your house. Debt is oftentimes necessary, but don't accept debt as a normal way of life. They serve a function in our society because they allow us to purchase big expenses like a home, but we should be very cautious about letting it get too comfortable in our living room. When we accept debt as a normal way of life, we start to purchase things we don't need. We allow lifestyle creep to slowly intrude into our lives and ultimately hinder our ability to live to our full potential in our 40s. All right, the number three financial goal to achieve before 40 is to attain a credit score of at least 800. I know I talked about avoiding debt in the previous point, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't seek out the best deal when taking out loans. It is almost impossible to avoid debt unless you have half a million dollars in cash sitting around. Most people wouldn't be able to afford a home without access to a mortgage. So if you're going to get a mortgage, you might as well secure the best deal possible. And the key component to that is having the best credit score possible. It's possible to reach 800 plus before turning 40 because your credit history length 
shouldn't impact you as negatively as it did when you only had your credit card for two years fresh out of college. And don't underestimate the impact of a few percentage points when it comes to your debt interest rates. On a half million dollar 30 year mortgage loan, the difference in total interest that you will pay between a 3% and a 4% interest rate is close to $100,000. If you have an 800 plus credit score, you will surely secure the best interest rate on the market because lenders view you favorably as someone who is responsible with their debt. But if you have a lower credit score because you didn't focus on building it, you might only qualify for a higher interest rate and this could cost you thousands of dollars in the long run. The number four financial goal to achieve before the age of 40 is to establish a solid emergency fund. This means having cold hard liquid cash in your bank account as I mentioned earlier, when we reach 40, many responsibilities tend to arise simultaneously. Your kids might need orthodontic treatment, your aging parents might need assistance getting to their medical appointments, or an unexpected investment opportunity might present itself. And we don't have as much flexibility in our 40s as we did when we were younger. It's not just us. If something were to happen, we can't simply pick up and move or decide to cut back and live on rice and beans for the rest of the year. Think about how your spouse or kids would react to that. A solid emergency fund will help you navigate the bumps of life that will surely arise in our 40s. More often than we'd like, consider emergency funds as bowling guardrails that keep the ball within the lane regardless of what life throws at it. A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of expenses in a readily accessible account, such as a checking or savings account. If you're more conservative, like my wife and I, having a 12-month emergency fund is also a wise option. And if you still have some time before turning 40, start building it little by little so you won't be burdened with trying to come up with a large sum of cash in a short period of time. Another thing I love about having a solid emergency fund is that it can function as what JL Collins likes to call FU money. In your 40s, you might want to pursue new opportunities or even take some time off work to spend more quality time with your family. Having a substantial emergency FU fund gives you that option. The number five financial goal. One of the key financial milestones I aim to reach before reaching 40 is investing an amount equivalent to five times my yearly expenses. This objective is often termed as FIRE within the community of financial independence enthusiasts. By achieving FIRE, you build a portfolio that generates sufficient returns through compound interest, even if you cease making further contributions. Having five times my yearly expenses invested by the time I turn 40 is a goal that would provide most individuals with a comfortable retirement, assuming they maintain those investments until age 65. Over a period of 25 years, Compounding at an interest rate of 8% can transform a $500,000 investment into over $3 million. I strongly believe that this sum would enable me to enjoy a secure and fulfilling post-retirement life. So, if you want options when you reach the age of 40, such as the option to pursue a new career, slow down from work, or just spend more time with the family for a few years, aim to have at least five times your expenses in investments. Personally, I believe that low-cost total market index funds like VTSAX are one of the best places for individual investors like you and me. They allow you to take advantage of the market's upside with limited downside risk. The sixth financial goal to achieve before the age of 40 is to have solid career capital. Cal Newport, the author of So Good They Can't Ignore You, defines career capital as the skills you have that are both rare and valuable and that can be used as leverage in defining your career. It might be okay to spend our 20s exploring without really developing expertise in anything, but in our 30s, we want to start investing in our careers so that we have career capital we can leverage in our 40s. This leverage can be in the form of negotiating a higher salary or better positions because our career skill sets are that good. 
I've seen too many people who are still in the exploration phase of their career, even when they reach the age of 40, still trying out new pathways in grad schools without really building up expertise in one area. And this applies not only to corporate 9 to 5 jobs, but also to technical fields like healthcare or starting a business as an entrepreneur. Our 40s will be a time when we want options because of all the things that will be hitting us from different angles of life. And a key way to have those options is by being so good that they can't ignore us. The seventh financial goal to achieve before the age of 40 is to develop a solid fitness regimen. Contrary to what you may think, fitness and finance are closely correlated. Not having a good fitness regimen will hinder your ability to work effectively, earn more, and result in higher health care costs in the long run. When I refer to a solid fitness regimen, I want to emphasize that it should be age appropriate. Your fitness routine in your mid to late 30s should not be the same as when you were 21. I can't tell you how many times I've pulled a muscle because I tried to run or lift weights the same way I did in my 20s, or attempted to eat the same way as when I was in my early 20s. My stomach did not appreciate it. Think of your body as a machine that requires proper maintenance and care. By developing a diet and workout plan suitable for your age, you can ensure that your body operates like a Ferrari rather than a worn out old car that breaks down at the first hurdle. Eliminated processed foods in your diet and focus on exercises that minimize injuries instead of solely trying to increase size or speed. If we neglect our one and only body, it won't matter if we have a billion dollars because we won't have the health to enjoy it. The eighth financial goal before the age of 40 is to have an organized estate plan and life insurance. This is especially crucial if you have dependents in your family. Your family will likely have significant financial needs in their 40s and 50s. So it's important to consider what would happen if something were to happen to you. My recommendation is to obtain a 20 or 30 year term life insurance policy that covers at least 10 to 12 times your annual expenses. Beware of people trying to sell you whole life or variable life insurance. I advise against them. If you want to learn more about why I don't recommend these types of policies, please check out my video where I provide a more detailed explanation. When it comes to estate planning, it is essential to work with a reputable estate lawyer who can assist you in preparing the necessary legal documents for your family in the event of unforeseen circumstances. Consider this as a way of helping your family avoid court. Without a solid estate plan, your family will not be able to receive your assets. They will have to go through a probate court process involving judges and lawyers, which can be lengthy and expensive. Why subject your family to such an ordeal? Plan ahead by setting up life insurance and establishing a well-structured estate plan. The ninth financial goal before the age of 40 is to initiate a conversation about money with your aging parents. John Chatsky, the renowned personal finance writer, refers to the 70-40 rule. When a parent reaches 70 or a child turns 40, it's time to have this conversation. According to the Pew Research Center, nearly 30% of Americans with a parent age 65 or older provide financial assistance to their parents. This is especially common in lower income households. While you may have your own finances in order and feel comfortable with all the goals we have discussed so far, your desired future could be disrupted if your parents are not financially prepared. This does not mean that you need to financially support them, but by starting the conversation with your parents as early as possible, you will have more information to work with. You might discover that they are more prepared than you initially thought. In rare cases, they might even welcome the discussion as they have been meaning to bring it up but couldn't find the right time. With careful planning and preparation, you can thrive during this stage of life. Thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.